Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I have recently come across this Bavania Splendor Gel Paper that is 160 GSM in a store in my city. The store is called National Bookstore and I have always been curious about the 160 GSM paper because it's the paperweight that's being used in the Archer and Olive notebooks. I don't know what paper brand Archer and Olive uses, but it's 160 GSM, and a lot of people seem to really like it. So when I saw this Bavania in the store, I picked up a few packs to try out. Now, I have used Bavania Splendor Gel paper before. It was last year, and I tried out the 115 GSM, which I really, really liked. I will link the video in the description box. But at that time, none of the Bavania none of the heavier Bavania papers were available locally. I had to buy that 115 GSM from online and shipping can get expensive for paper because paper tends to get heavy. So I am glad that I saw these in the actual physical store and today I will be using this paper for my daily pages for my planner for the first two weeks of August. And so because I have the U.S. letter-sized Bavania paper, I will cut all the paper in half to make them half letter, and that's what I will be printing my planner pages on. I just used the simple paper trimmer to make the first cut before printing. And now that all of the sheets have been cut down to half letter size, I just went ahead and printed out my planner pages onto these sheets. And here they are, all printed out, my day on 2.6 pages for August 1 through 14, uh, year 2022. After the printing, of course, comes the final cutting, and to do that, I use my box cutter, a metal ruler, and a cutting mat. I prefer doing it this way because I think it gives me a more precise cut, and I like the act of cutting this way. I find it calming. I usually put on something to listen to. Sometimes it's lo-fi music from Spotify. Sometimes it's Friends, the TV show. Yes, the TV show. I put it on, but I just listen because I have rewatched that a million times since I was in my 20s. Now the size of my planner pages is the A5 slim which is the height of the A5 but the width of the personal which means it's 210 millimeters tall and 95 millimeters wide. And I went through a process deciding on this planner page size and my entire planner for that matter. This was my project for One Book July last year and I will link the playlist down below. I used the day on two pages when I started out in that One Book July project. However, earlier this year I have decided to add the half sheet into my daily planner pages, which isn't exactly half of a sheet. It's slightly wider than half a sheet, so it's not 0.5, so I call this my day on 2.6 pages. I have a video about these narrow sheets and I will link it down below. I also have some videos about how I planned, which I will also link down below. I make my own planner pages myself, which is what I have been doing since about July 2013. And I've always felt that it has contributed a lot to my planner piece because I am not at the mercy of other planner manufacturers. If I need to change up my planner pages, I can do it myself without having to look for pages that can probably fit my needs. By making my own planner pages, I can make it fit my needs 100% at any given time. And you can do that too. I have a video tutorial about how to lay out your own planner pages on Adobe InDesign and I will link it down below. Now the reason why I can do a really precise cut using my box cutter is that the layout itself has cut lines that are very very faint very light gray as you can see here it's on every single page I just cut along those lines now let me just pause with the cutting for a minute to try out a fountain pen on the 160 GSM Bavania Splendor gel paper to make a writing sample I'm using my Pelican M400 white tortoise fountain pen it has an extra fine nib but it's very very wet that it writes like a medium as you can see it is very wet and the lines it lays down are very wide this is not an extra fine writing even though the uh, embossing on the nib says it's ef 
The ink that I'm using is the buttered popcorn from Ferris Wheel Press, which I also have an unboxing and swatching video on my channel, which I will link down below. The paper shows very beautiful, very pronounced shading, which is what I look for in fountain pen writing. And it doesn't bleed through. So if you use fountain pens with wet nibs, I highly recommend this paper, but make sure that you test out all of your pens first before committing to the paper because I heard that flex pens bleed through here. But a regular fountain pen like the one I have works, as you can see. And now that all of the pages have been cut down to the proper size, which is a 5 slim plus the half sheets that are slightly wider than half a sheet, I can now put them in the proper order because they kind of got all jumbled up when I was cutting. The narrower sheets will go in between the days and that is what makes it day on to 0.6 pages. And then there is the hole punching, which is the next step. I still use this Happy Planner hole punch, which is not the absolute best, but it does what I needed to do when hole punching paper. Only paper. And because this paper is thick, I can only punch two sheets at a time. Now all of the daily pages have been hole punched. It's now time to add the final component of my daily pages, which is this weekly task list that I tip into the right edge of the Sunday spread. I use a book binding awl to make a score line and then I fold in the flap and then I lay down some glue and then I have a tip in, which can fold out when needed. And then I just do the same for the second week of August. And now finally, it's time for the final step, which is to place these pages on the actual planner. I have 24 millimeter black metal discs in my planner right here. I have a video about how I have set up this planner and I will leave a link down below. I have only the daily pages and the month on two pages here because I wanted to make this planner very, very portable and very, very handy. And I will put the August pages behind the monthly spread for August. Here is a flip through of how the pages for the first week of August is going to be like with a weekly tip in folded out. And these pages are actually segregated by week, so I am able to take out the pages every week that is over and archive them without affecting the contents or the pages for the incoming week. As for the pages for the second week of August, I do not have enough space on the discs for everything. So I'm just going to place into the planner the day on two pages because I need the, these actual pages for planning. The narrower sheets with the rainbow colors are used only for tracking, so I can get away with not putting them in the planner for now. I will just store them in this supplemental binder that I have and put these in the planner when I have more space. Right now the thickness is just right for the 24 millimeter discs, but I might need slightly larger discs only very slightly larger, like the 28 millimeter discs, if I am going to continue using the 160 GSM paper. We will see. But so far, I really like the paper. It feels so luxurious. And August is my birth month, so this is just one way of making it a little bit more special than usual. And that is my little video for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Do you use 160 GSM? paper for your planner? Let me know in the comments and let's chat there. Thanks for watching. Bye!